this is just a chipboard journal page here. I want to try out a collage in a little bit of a different way. So for the purpose, I picked a magazine image. I then photocopied it first in color and then a few copies in black and white. I also printed it on colored uh, paper. Now those colors were the only ones I had available that fit in my printer and other colors may have worked better, but it's okay. This is kind of an experiment, so please uh, join me to see how it comes out. Now, like so often, it's going to be easy to follow. So anything you need to know or any mediums I will be using will be in the captions. Now, at the end of this video, I will also give you a flip through of a finished journal. So don't go away. Enjoy the process here. And I talk to you in just a wee bit.
Now I will get back to you on that collage in just a moment because it is part of this journal. This loose leaf chipboard art journal is finally completed. So for today's bonus I will give you a flip through. Now it comes with only eight uh, pages but they are very sturdy so I was able to work on them from both sides. So I have 16 different pages to show you. Now the making of the cover as well as the making of some of these pages have been covered in some of my previous videos so I won't explain too much on those. But the newer pages are my um, yeah, chit chat, just a wee bit. So here we go. The cover has an interesting image, lots of nice texture. First page just craft paper and the word art. This page, magazine image, gelatos, covered in a video. This one, a collage, magazine images. It was part of the bits and pieces uh, challenge last year, so it was necessary to incorporate a lot of uh, details. This page is covered in a video. New page, just a happy playtime with some abstract elements, lots of different colors, lots of texture. Finished up with some lines with my credit card in white, a white uh, die cut of a Nautilus, the word explore. Feels great. This is a new page too. I was attracted to the image of the two girls peeking from the porthole. It has the word one heart, one soul, two thoughts. Because I got the impression that they both look into their future with very different dreams. Now the background was done with shading and acrylic paints, uh, some ink pads and just some doodle with my sharpies, some white dots. Pretty simple. I just felt like incorporating this image somehow. Here's another page that was covered in the video. Another one of my last year's bits and pieces challenges. An old photo, lots of texture. You can look up the details. It's a new page. It's a collage of two identical images, a small and a larger one. I love the color of her hair with a background color, which is mm, all kinds of colors. I think I added it with a brayer. It has a piece of drywall tape. It has a line of a die cut of a film strip and lots of yummy texture. Some done with a stencil, some just added to the background, crackles, great colors. There's some alcohol ink on here but the rest I believe is mostly acrylic paints. Uh, these really bright fluorescent orange circles and the word let's talk. So there's this one. This was my decollage uh, journal page and I covered the technique in one of my videos. Basically you create the final look by taking pages away. So here's this one. It has a little word spirit here on the side. Here I played with some watercolors and some alcohol splatters in the background, some stamping. It has some doilies, some stenciling, an old image of a painting of this young boy. A pretty butterfly was a die cut which I colored and it has some glossy accent on it. Another plain die cut and then a strip of white gesso with the word beautiful dreams. So I wrote this rather big but I think it complements the shape of the page and uh, this is very shiny. All right. And then this page was part of a hop last year about summer and there's a video available. I used an image of our trailer and car and I decorated the trees. You can find this here on my channel. And this is an interesting page. Very simple but I love the way it looks. I found this magazine page which only had the teal color with that bit of uh, black gray shading. It had no advertisement or nothing. So I took it, I cut it in very slim little triangles and then glued them down this way. 
and I just loved the way that looked. But then I wanted to complete it a little bit, so just some doodling, simple flowers, nothing special. And then the words down there, enjoy the playtime, and that I did. <laughs> Next uh, collage, again, part of the bits and pieces from last year, an image of Charlie. It says the word history, lots of details and texture. Again, there is a video available. There is a video available for this page too. Pretty simple. Background was done with, I believe, napkins. And then I painted this on a separate piece of paper. Now, painting faces is something I'm still working on, so she isn't perfect. That's why the title, I am what I am. And here, well, I had this lucky find of this black what do you call it? It looks nearly like a stencil, but actually it came from a wall decoration my daughter was throwing out. And I kept this piece because to me it looked a bit like a tree. And then I added strips of fabric in the background. And uh, the little bird here is actually a sticker. And the words, your paradise. And then it has some 3D paint just for an edge little bit of sparkle and glitter on the fabric and I like him uh, living in its paradise here and I thought it came out pretty cool it's a very sturdy page here's another collage an image of a lady I added her to this huge light bulb it has craft paper in the back some cutouts from a magazine just because of its colors some stenciling of numbers and the idea was just to represent how many moments we have in someone's life. You really can count them. Because the title is that moment in time. Because in between all those millions and billions of moments, we have those special moments which are worth remembering. So there is this one. Now this is another one of my challenge pages, this time for this year's Four Core Challenge. It has great texture, a magazine image, the words reality for many. And there is a video available for this one. And that brings me to the page I did today. Now, like I mentioned to you in the beginning of the video, I just had this idea I really wanted to try and I think it was successful. Now, I see the potential of maybe working with a larger, more bolder image so that the patches are more easy to see, also more easy to place. I might also like to experiment with different type of colors for my copies. So. Well, the idea and working with it will be in progress. So I added the words, there are many sides to the story and what's hers because, well, of her outfit, the crown, the coffee pot and cup, your imagination is as good as mine. Now the little bit of gold gilding gave it just that bit of shimmer and shine. And that was the last page in this journal. Again, craft paper and the dates. And yes, it took me just about exactly two years to finish this up. Now, of course, I have other journals I work in. I also do a lot of non-journal work, so it doesn't really matter how long it takes. Now, I really like working in these loose leaf, sturdy chipboard journals, and I was able to buy three of them, and by now they're all completed. Uh, this was the very first one I completed, and then I did a second one. As you can see, they are identical in shape and size. Now, I already posted flip throughs of these two, so just for interest, the link to those flip throughs will be below in my box just in case today you feel like looking at journals. So that's all I had. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me make the crazy collage and take a look at my journal here. I see you really soon again latest by next Friday. Please stay safe and creative and bye bye for now. <music>